What up folks, Alex here, I hope you're good, and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. If you haven't guessed already, today we're talking split screens. Now split screens are actually really cool, there's loads of really funky uses for them. You can use them in vlogs as a narrative like I did at the start of this video. They can help to chop things up and make things move along at a really nice pace. You can use them for product shots or b-roll. Also works really well for talking headshots. So there's actually loads of uses. There's also loads of different ways to create them within DaVinci Resolve, but I find it can be a little bit difficult to get consistent with them. So what I've done is to create a couple of really simple templates for you to use. You can download them from the link down in the description, they're completely free, so go ahead and download them. They are dot settings files because these are fusion generators, so what you need to do, close DaVinci Resolve, copy the settings files to the correct location, and then open Resolve and they should be there ready to go. There's a readme file on the link, so make sure you have a look at that and it'll tell you where you need to drop the files to. If you're still stuck, check the description. There's a link to a video which should also help you out as well. Right, with that out of the way, let's have a look, shall we? So here we are in DaVinci Resolve, we're on the Edit tab, and I've already got my timeline set up and ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up the effects library, expand the toolbox, open up generators, scroll down to the fusion generators, and within there, you should see a bunch of split file. X2 just means it splits into two and X3 just means it splits into three. And there's a couple of different variations. So we're going to go with the horizontal X2 for this demo and we're just going to click, drag and drop it on our timeline. If you give it a click, open up the inspector. Within the fusion tab at the top there's a few options in here. By default the actual border is black which is why you can't see it but what I recommend you do, drag it make it a different color, it's easier to see and it's easier to line up all your footage that way. Now this border has to be above your two video clips for it to work well. So what we want to do, this is on video track one at the moment, we want to drag it up to video track three so then there's room for two clips underneath. If you're using an X3 you want to drag it up to video track four so there's room for three clips underneath. So what we're going to do, click, drag up video two and then do that again to video three. I'm going to grab two clips from my media pool and put them underneath like so. And then all we need to do is just put these in place. It's really as simple as that. And there's two ways to do transforms and crops. You can use the inspector up here so we can just move this along to zoom in, zoom out, position it and then use the cropping tool to crop accordingly. Or if you prefer a drag and drop approach, underneath the preview window you can click on this button here to do a transform. Use the drop down and then you can select crop to do crops. So all I'm going to do, using the transform, let's just drag this up and we'll get it into roughly the place that I want it. So I want it about there. And then we'll use the drop down, select crop, and we'll just drag this up and put this somewhere underneath that red bar, like so. Then we'll go to our first clip and just do the same. Obviously that is red, you may not want it as red, so if you give it a click, Again, in the inspector, in the fusion, you can just make it black. There's another option in there, which is corner radius. So at the moment, as you see, it's got a hard square corners. But if you wanted a slightly more old school retro look, if you just drag the radius up, it'll curve out those corners. And then if you want to stack clips like I did in the introduction, it's really easy. You just edit each track individually. So for example, we've got the coffee cup here. Let's say I only want this to be on screen for a short while, and then we'll cut it. So we're going to give that a click, we're going to do a control and D to cut there, select the second clip, hit backspace to delete it, and then we'll grab another clip from our media pool and just drop that on there like so. You would then need to apply all the same transforms and croppings to this second clip, but what you can actually do is save a bit of time, click on the first section, right click, and then go to copy, or you can use control and C, and then on the second section, right click and click paste attributes, or you can do alt and V. And then within here, make sure that you tick zoom, crop, and position, and then apply. And then I'll put that clip in exactly the same position as the previous one. If you want this split screen to appear within something else, you can do that as well. So all I'm gonna do, click on file, and then I'm gonna add a new timeline. And create, you can give it a name, do what you wanna do, and we're gonna create that. And let's say this is a different clip altogether, but we want that split screen to appear within this clip. Grab our original timeline from the media pool and drag it onto our new timeline, which is the timeline we've just edited with the border. Now the joy of this 
If we give the timeline a click, we can then zoom that out, change the position, put it wherever we want. So then we could put some text underneath it. We could do whatever we want to do. We could put a nicer frame around it or a bigger frame or a border or just whatever we want to do. We can put that split screen into other timelines or other projects. And that's it, really is as easy as that. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, any comments or feedback, pop them down below. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take it easy, folks. Until next time. Oh, I said that the wrong way. Until next time, take it easy. See ya.